Hello friends, uh, Joanna here from Vintage Style by Joe. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a great summer so far. I just wanted to uh, spend a little time with you guys. We could hang out, show you what I was working on, and then show you how I make them. So I have these um, um, fabric master boards. These are fabric and lace. Um, assorted colors. These were just scraps from left over from different projects. So as you can see, I have, you know, a whole bunch of different types of colors and fabrics. We have the pinks and the reds, um, a little yellows, a hint of, you know, little greens and um, then some embellishments. Just added some, you know, little flowers here and there. Um, and then what I did was I actually added some rhinestones and some pearls and some buttons here and I had sewn the back of it. So um, it just gives it a nice little extra touch. That's that one. So I'm selling these in sets of three. So this is the second one. So this one here, um, I had some lace left over from couple of projects so this is the same fabrics more or less just added some extra laces as well as some buttons and then some you know uh, flowers etc so um, these have been sewn in also so again the stitching just gives a nice little touch keeps um, you know, stitched around the around the edges and then just did like a zigzag because some of these uh, thicker fabrics tend to get a little bit unruly and like this old vintage um, linen fabric, um, when I cut it, it just got all, it got all frayed. So, and then I added a little tool and just some little rhinestones and stuff too. And this one I didn't add, I didn't do any embellishments. I just um, added the fabric and the laces so it's just a different variety and um you'll be amazed like when you're at when you're picking out fabrics or uh, you know just taking some of your scraps and just putting them together here so this is sewn on the back as well so this is the third one from this set okay and this one here these are um, just basically uh, fabric and laces. So um, they look so unique and so much fun. It's just basically leftover um, scraps that I had for my scrap bin. Um, some buttons, some rhinestones, and some pearls. Um, that's it, so this is number one from this set. And um, let's see, yeah, this this is a set of two. So again, these are all sewn on the back. I just added some fabric and lace and some additional, uh, just it. You just make it your own, just put on whatever you have. And then again, I just had stitched along the back here and that's it. Uh, most of this, um, like when I was stitching these, I um, there's no um, stitching pattern. I'm just basically going with what um, is in the fabrics. You know, like, so if this one's sticking up a little bit, I just had sewn and followed some of these. You know, some of the laces get a little, um, you know, weird because they don't really stick with the glue so well. So um, that's it. And basically whatever you have works, right? So that's these guys. These are the, I, ha, I do have them for um, sale on Etsy and eBay. I don't have them on Amazon. So that's that. So I already started one to show you guys here. Um, so what I first do as you, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I am in my sewing rooms for the first time, finally. So these are just um, scraps, 
this is another one I had done, but um, I didn't do any stitching to it. Um, so this is what I'm talking about when, um, before they're sewn, the fabrics are sticking up and the cheese, cheese cloth, if you ever work with cheese cloth, it gets um, a little hairy, so I haven't sewn anything. But this is the before, you know, um, any embellishments or any uh, stitching. You can tell it's sticking up all over the place. But, um, so that's that one. I, I, I should have shown you the before. So here are some scraps that I ha have picked um, for a um, fabric master board for today. So um, for me personally, what I like to do is I like to take a 12 by 12 um, piece of cardstock or anything. So it kind of gives me like a parameter of, of stuff that I'm working on and it lets me look and to see everything that I have. And um, I don't have to use everything, but it's just um, some palette, I guess you could say, of what you want to work with. Because I know some people like to take a bin of stuff and they, you know, want to just glue stuff down, pull it out of a bin, but, um, I find that to be um, a little distracting and um, it's just not for me. I like to be able to see everything that I have and that I'm working with. So you kind of get a, a, a vision of the different patterns and colors. So um, you might say, well, that doesn't match. That doesn't look, um, you know, like it's gonna work, but um, it actually does work. These work very well and um, that's it so I think we should get started and um, so you notice I added some browns as well so um, let's see here yeah so I have some these were um, I made these little um, cat pin cushions and whenever you're making, um, yeah, I did post these for sale. So there's seven of these all together. So whenever you're making something that has um, such um, a unique pattern, these create a lot of scraps. So there's, you know, um, and these type of scraps are great for making um, your fabric master boards. So keep them. Um, also, we made these um, uh, bucket hats. And um, these create a lot of um, scraps also because of um, the rounded shape. So you can tell we have a lot of different pieces. Okay, so here we have, I have greens, we have blues, we have some um, patterns, all kinds of stuff here. So having said that, again, I, I like to have a little organization before, um, you know, I put anything together. So here is one that I kind of got started already um, just to show you, um, you know, how we do it. So this is just a little bit of an idea board here. So these are majority of the fabrics that we have. You can tell there's um, a variety of different patterns, which makes everything, um, you might say, well, you know, this is, you know, that looks kind of weird. It doesn't because once you put it together, you make it and then you, you could put some laces, you can add some beads, some buttons and all kinds of things like I showed you. And trust me, they look so cute. Okay, so um, let's see here. So all you really need for this, this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock that I am working on and um, your fabrics and your glue stick, I'm using um, the Avery um, uh, permanent glue stick, but um, I'm going to sew this eventually. So I'm not gonna go really crazy with the glue. So I'm just gonna add a little dab of glue and then let's get started here. All right, so I kind of put these here just to give a little look here. So, already it just looks so much fun right so when i'm gluing these because if you're not going to sew them you know 
add, make sure you add your glue here. So, all right. So for this here, I'm just going to, usually I don't have this already set up. So I'm just gonna give a little gluing here. And as I go along, I'm just going to be adding this here. And then let's move these out of the way. All right, so um, if you are, you can also use a temporary fabric basting glue. Those always work good. Um, all right, so I'm gonna just tuck this under here. And when you're working with these, um, please don't think too hard about the fabrics. When I when I picked out, the only reason I have these fabrics that I have here is because they were from a leftover project. So um, just use what you have, work with um, your, your different fabrics. And um, you know, the worst thing that happens is you, you take it up, right? But yeah, this is a process that's not really, really meant to be too, you know, big. This is supposed to be a nice and um, relaxing project. I find this very therapeutic. Um, sometimes when I'm in the middle of working on a quilt, and you know, quilting takes a very long time. There's a lot of work involved. So if I want to make something and, you know, make something quick and, um, just to be able to work with fabric, which I love. I I just do, I just work on these because these are very therapeutic. I get to still work with my fabrics and I'm having fun. Uh, you could sit on the couch, you grab your, your little fabrics, your scraps, and that's the other thing. You look at the pieces that you can use, right? So I'm just gonna add a little dab of glue and I'm gonna stick it here in this little empty spot here. And don't worry about empty spots either because you can always add some other little pieces. Um, let's see here, I have, I fussy cut out these little, you know, leaves here from another fabric. And you can just go ahead, you can add some little hearts, a um, whole bunch of different things here. So, okay. <clears throat> All right, so again, a little light glue and these aren't things that are supposed to be stressful this is supposed to be nice and relaxing um, I would love for you guys to comment on any um, cool plans you have for the fourth it doesn't matter if you're just staying home or you're going somewhere um, just comment and say yeah, you know, we're just hanging out, whatever. Those are always fun things. So I like these um, long strips because they're like little, because sometimes as you're adding, like some people work from the outside in, some people work from the center out. I find I don't like to have a plan. I just want to add stuff. So um, that's how I do it. So. And you want to break up the colors a little bit. That might be a little too red. Uh, let's see here. Should we add a little dab of green? Or maybe put this over here. So um, the only thing is I wouldn't put um, the same type of, the same exact fabric or similar in color too close because that kind of, you know, makes it a little, you know, one-sided because then, you know, it takes away from the focus. And let's see here. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, for, um, for June, uh, we are going for our giveaway for our 400th subscriber. Thank you guys very much for your support. We are going to be giving away these master boards or, you know, um, these eight and a half by 11 ones that we finish. Um, so this way you guys can enjoy 
using them, spending some time over the summer and doing some crafting and relaxing. You can cut them up and, you know, have some fun. You can make some, you can um, use them to make cards, um, use them in your journals. Okay, here. I love these, these reds in here, the mix of the reds. Maybe just add you here. So, let's see. See, I don't want to add too much brown here. I don't want to add too much green there. So this is a vintage, a nice linen vintage um, fabric. This I got this, had gotten this at an estate sale. And it is just gorgeous, but it kind of, it, it's very, um, it shreds a lot, as you can see. So if you were adding a fabric like that to your um, master board, then you definitely want to be able to, you know, you could do a zigzag all the way around here. And it just, it just wants to shred all over the place. I was walking around with this, with this fabric all over my clothes the other day. My husband thought I was, he's like, oh, he said, look at you, you look like a mess. I know I did, I really didn't look like a mess. Okay, I love these little um, petite um, patterns. <clears throat> Excuse me, this was another vintage fabric that I had gotten at an estate sale. So, all right, so we have these long strips. And the reason these long strips are really great, again, because sometimes when you're adding and you have like a little, like a, um, some blank areas here, you wanna be able to just kind of offset, you know, the squares here like this is a solid color we can break it up a little bit by adding some some fun colors all right again we, I'm just going to be sticking this on here because I'm going to sew and so I pre-picked these out so you guys wouldn't have to watch me rummage through um you know let's see that kind of looks nice I, I mean, I could actually probably do this all day. You know what? I am going to put the brown here because of the odd shape. And here. My um, screen went out, so I don't know how centered this video is. And I apologize. Um, our network is... Um, very bad in this room. That's why I haven't done videos in here for, for a while. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Let's get on. I'm sorry about um, if you're not seeing this because I can't see if you're seeing me. <laughs> All right. So... I just love this little flower here. And I said, you know, I have to have to add it. And this could be, as I showed you, it could just it could be fabric and lace. It could be, you know, um, it could be like like a novelty type. You can add, you know, different types of printed fabrics. You can make it a theme. Uh, okay. All right, so I want to add a little bit of my blue in here and then we'll fill in with some smaller pieces. All right. And this blue fabric, this floral fabric, I recently um, purchased um, it from a thrift shop. And this came, this was brand new fabric. Um, it still had the price tag on it. And um, I think it was like probably, I'm gonna say probably about eight yards. And I had gotten it for, um, I think it was $8, seven or $8, I can't remember. Okay, so I'm gonna add this one here. 
um, when I was making these the other day, and I said I have to post, I have no master boards for, for sale. I said, you know, that's really not like us. You know, we usually have um, at least some fabric and then some paper master boards. I've, I'm gonna link a couple of the um, videos that I have done. I've done a few of the um, paper master boards as well as the uh, snippets. So, um, and clusters, uh, master boards, um, how to's. Oh, I wanted to show you guys real quick. I have this um, Happy Camper fabric. We had used, um, these are just scraps from a bucket hat that I made. So if you can see here, these are, these are little campers. And there's not enough fabric to actually, you know, of the camper to still use the fabric. So what I did was I, as you can see here, I just fussy cut out this little area and I'm using it for um, the master board and why not right so um if you have a pattern fabric you know it has little flowers on it keep the scraps because you can cut them out and use them as little you know additions in your your um, fabric master board and they actually make really great like you know little borders here to add around um again i had cut out this the little leaves so I just wanted to share that with you guys because that's kind of fun being able to use as much of your fabric as possible. Okay, let's see. I have, um, oh, with this fabric, I'm actually working on a, um, a journal cover. Um, a fabric journal cover. For, and this is a little bit pieces of of it left over, so maybe I should put that over here. I'll cut a long piece here and just trim that down. Right? All right, so again, we're not gonna think too hard about it. We're just going to um, put these down and we're not worried about the empty spaces again we're going to we can chop up little pieces of other things right and then just add them in here that's too close to that all right uh yeah so thank you guys so much for your support for our 400 subscribers we are going to be giving away some of our fabric master boards which is very exciting because they're very cool and these guys are lots of fun um i hope you guys enjoy these um videos because um and and help you to be inspired to do a little crafting this is nice and relaxing um because the reason this is so relaxing is because um you're not really thinking that hard and being able to use up your scraps i mean for me personally to use up your scraps and to make something really awesome is totally totally what i love to do because i hate to sit and not have you know to have so many scraps and then you know you can't they're sitting around because usually, typically, what we do is at least once a month we go and we we take our scraps and we either quilt them, you know, just quilt them for, you know, a project at a later date. Or we, um, that's too much brown, or we make these. We make some fun little uh, projects like this. So that's going to be an odd shape here. So let's see. I'm gonna give a little cut here. Oops. Sorry, that's loud. 
<clears throat> so I know that's a lot of brown here, but we're going to follow it up with some other fun stuff here. Maybe cut this on an angle here. And then we can stick that on there. So cute. All right, so our next step is we are going to sit and we're just going to sew this. All right? Let's see. Oh, this one's a little curling. So, again, um, grab your scraps, grab a, um, a, a piece of paper, cardstock, and just just start adding them and making your own little master board, which can be used for so many things. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's really awesome. So much fun. You can make it actually, you can make this a traveler's notebook cover, right? Just by, just by doing this, just making this a cover. So that wasn't a lot of work. We didn't really um, do much. I just use my brayer to flatten some of these out a little bit. Okay, so most of your cotton fabrics are just fine, right? Okay, so we've gotten most of it. There are a couple of little, you know, blank spots, but we are not going to worry about that. Um, let's see. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to um, give these um, a quick stitch. Bring over my uh, sewing machine here. Again, all right, so let's see. What do you guys think so far? Pretty cool, right? All right. All right, so give this a um, quick stitch here. We'll go over these and uh, let's see. Uh, my thing's not working. Uh, sorry, guys. I can't even n see if you guys are watching me. Okay. So here at the sewing machine, let's give this a... Um, <laughs> I glue all over my fingers. So, all right. Let me check to see if you guys can see. All right, so I'm just gonna randomly go around, give this a quick stitch, and um, let's see. All right, I'm just gonna go around the outside, give do a um, quickie zigzag. I'm just gonna go around the outside and then work my way in. Um, I'm going to um, add the links to my other videos so you guys can see the um, my other Masterboard videos. So we'll go around and then check some of these weird spots here. So this is really not a timed process. There's really no set time. Um, and when you're sewing, the fabrics kind of come up all over the place. There's no really no set time. It's just whatever time you have. And this if you don't get to finish it, it's not really considered a UFO. You know, it's not an unfinished project. It's just something to do to relax, you know, take some time and enjoy it. And um, again, if you are sewing this, don't put a lot of glue because nothing will gum up your sewing machine. 
like some fresh glue. And then um, you guys can go ahead and um, embellish however you want. And these are great if you want to sell too, if you are planning to, um, you know, start selling. These are very popular. Um, people love these because again, these are used for so many things. You could use them, cut them up and make tags. You can make pockets, um, you know, snippets, all kinds of different things. Like I said, you can also use this and make make a whole cover out of just a um, no, fabric master board. And you don't have to be an expert um, sewer for this either. If you can do a straight stitch, uh, you can totally do this, no problem. Um, and this is actually a good way, if you are beginning to sew, to practice. Um, it's very easy. I'm just using a um, zigzag stitch um, I'm using a width of four and four. So, so it's a pretty wide stitch as you can see here. But this is very relaxing. I thoroughly enjoy doing this. Um, yeah, I could probably do this a lot. So once I'm done going around the whole outside, I'm gonna just kind of just go around and see which spots could use a little love. And you don't even, you don't have to, um, you don't even, you don't have to cut your threads each time. I'm just doing this because I just want to show you how much fun that is, right? We just went around and did a little Perimeter. That's what I always do first. Some people might say, you know, you don't need to do that. But for here, I'm just going to go and follow, trying to grab as much as um, some of these as possible, and then, then go around and do some touch-up sewing for anything that's still sticking up. This is just doing like a foundation stitching. kind of um, going back and forth. And I do do a back stitch because this is kind of like your top stitching. See, this is, it's kind of like you are top stitching, you know, um, obviously really is not a big deal because we're just putting everything, trying to get everything together. So this is kind of like a, um, you're making a quilt and you are doing, um, you're doing your, um, you know, decorative stitches. gonna go around quick all right this is the last one and then I'll just show you what we did and then um, we'll be done just grabbing some of these here so you can basically just go all the way around your whole entire piece without ever cutting your threads. You could just go, um, you know, you um, leave your needle down, right? You pick up your um, presser foot and then you just go just 
I have to make sure I get that one um, one type of fabric. zigzagging and catching these. A uh, sewing machine sounds loud when you're sewing over paper. Because I don't think it loves it. When you're under the machine, you could just curl your paper. You know, roll it under. Sorry about that, that was quite loud. But anyway, so if you can see how much nicer everything looks. Just, and we only did a little sewing. We really didn't do much. I didn't go around the whole thing. I just kind of did, you could tell the difference from where I did. Um, and sometimes the back of your, uh, you know, your page is very busy with stitching depending on, um, because sometimes you will wind up going back and going over, you know, some of these little pieces um, and just, you know, individually going around because see this sticking up. Because again, I didn't use a lot of glue because I knew I was going to be sewing, but there we are. We have our little um, fabric master board. So now when you are done, you can go ahead and let me, I just want to go back and show you you can go ahead and add some, you know, some embellishments, right? So these are mostly the same fabrics that I've used for this. So that's why I wanted to show you, right? And then just go ahead and add your stuff. You can add, if you have gems, um, you know, some little flowers here, any type of rhinestones. I added some, um, you know, faux flowers here. Um, I actually fussy cut out these little hearts and I had sewn them on these there's actually little buttons um let's see what else and that's it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um I hope this is insp um, inspires you guys to make one because these are so much fun and look how gorgeous they are they're super easy super fun all you need is um some blank paper you know, eight and a half by 11 or a 12 by 12, whatever you want at whatever size. You can even make them on smaller scales if you want. Um, and, um, you know, you scrap fabric, some glue. If you are not sewing, then you are done, you know, at the glue part. Um, but I do encourage you, if you do have a sewing machine and you're learning, even if you're a beginner, Look, we didn't really do that much sewing. We didn't do anything fancy. We just did a basic, you know, stitch. And I'm not even done with this. I am going to go back and do these because, um, like I said, we are going to be giving away some of these for um, our June giveaway, our 400th subscriber giveaway. So this is before and this is the after. So you can see how, uh, you know, these fabrics could get a little hairy carry. So again, for these, you are, um, you're the boss, however you want to decorate them. I wanted to show you the, um, the fabric and lace ones, as well as the colorful ones. Not everything is fabric and lace, I know. So you can make these, this could be a whole entire journal cover. You could make this in a journal cover. Um, if you're used most of the times to eight and a half by 11, if you just folded this, what a super cute little journal cover once you embellish it and sew it and fill it in, right? Thanks guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be doing, working on another video now for, um, fabric journal covers and, um, so that I'm going to be working on soon, right? Actually right after this. Uh, thank you again. Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Um, again, thank you for all of your support. And um, you guys have a nice 4th of July holiday weekend. And you guys take care. So I will be talking to you very, very soon. Thank you so much.